The Antarctic, it's cold, unforgiving, and for one man, absolutely solitary. Tonight, we have a broadcast exclusive with Colin O'Brady, a 33-year-old explorer from Oregon who made history this week as the first man to trek across Antarctica alone and unaided. It's tonight's Inspiring America report with NBC's Joe Fryer. In a week typically focused on the North Pole, an intrepid adventurer is directing our focus to the other end of the globe, to Antarctica, where Colin O'Brady made history. Kind of my letter to the world for people to, to dream big and be inspired. He's now the first to traverse the continent from coast to coast, solo, without any assistance. O'Brady started the 932-mile adventure November 3rd, crossed the South Pole December 12th, then on Christmas, with the end oh so close, decided to make one final drive, sprinting nearly 80 miles in an ambitious 32-hour stretch. Something just came over me. I was like, you know what? I wonder if I could just go for it all in one crazy. Big push. And yesterday, the 54th day of his journey, O'Brady reached the finish line. When I arrived there, I was, you know, extremely exhausted, just overcome with joy and emotion, tears streaming down my face to an audience of zero. O'Brady has danced with danger before. Ten years ago, while in Thailand, he was severely injured by a fire with burns covering nearly a quarter of his body. But that didn't stop him from finishing triathlons. I'm on the summit of Mount Everest. From scaling mountains and so much more. Now he has tackled Antarctica. A dream this big is certainly outside of the box. You know, uh, there's a reason no one in history has ever been able to accomplish this feat. Another adventurer, Lewis Rudd, is also trekking the continent and is near the end. But in this epic race, Colin O'Brady can now say he did it first. Joe Fryer, NBC News. Boy, did he ever. That is NBC 9.5.